Wynar, where over 370 people have died due to landslides that took place seven days ago. Now, uh, those uh, landslides that uh, triggered uh, uh, the, you know, uh, villages have been washed away, roads have been washed away. Uh, so far, uh, the rescue and relief operations are continuing because only 220 bodies have been recovered as of now, while more than uh, 180 bodies are still believed to be missing as far as uh, the area is concerned. There was a mass uh, burial uh, process of the remains of the unidentified people killed in the Wynot landslide that was carried out by the district administration on Sunday. Several homes and villages that have been uh, inundated, several of those unidentified uh, bodies as well. So there has been a mass burial that was organized yesterday and it will continue to happen today as well. There were around 18 of uh, the rescue personnel who had gone to retrieve one of the dead bodies that was found at uh, the Sujipara uh, River waterfalls there. And uh, that is when they got stranded there. So a lot of difficulty in terms of the terrain as well when you talk about the Wayanad landscape there. And they will be air lifted today along with uh, the dead body. So a lot of teams that are coming in together here as far as the rescue operation is concerned. Several of those families who are there at uh, the relief camps are also trying to see if uh, their near and dear ones have also survived the tragedy or if their bodies could really be found. They have been running from different hospitals to relief camps to uh, find out the data there. So it has been quite a Herculean task for the rescue personnel, for the officials who have been working on this, as well as for those who have survived the tragedy because when will life return to normalcy? Do they have a home to go back to? Do they have a family to go back to? There are absolutely no answers there. Quite a distressing situation as far as these landslides are concerned. There are also politics that are on, whether this uh, uh, a raging debate that is on with respect to whether this is a man-made disaster or whether this could have been averted, whether this is a natural phenomenon. A lot of discussion as well as political blame game that is on at that front. But in the meantime, priority definitely needs to be in terms of saving more lives here.